What's your strength and what's your weakness? Why you failed in last half? Those questions are trap questions. It's extremely difficult to talk about what's your strength, what's your weakness in any type of interviews out there. But this is a must-ask interview questions. If you don't know how to answer this well, you might lose a job offer right away. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my live coaching example, teaching people how to answer what's your strengths and what's your weakness and how to improve this person's answers significantly. I want you to pay close attention and apply the same strategy to your answer as well. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product and featured in Forbes. I've helped 100 people land a dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. In this channel, we talk about product management and tech trends. Like and subscribe to watch more free training. First of all, why don't you tell me your answer to what's your strengths and weakness? Tell me your strengths, Vinicius. Tell me your strengths. I, I think I'm a good communication. I, I have facility to create good relationship, listen to people and have empathy. Uh, I think I'm goal-oriented. I, I like to work with a clear objective and uh, try to, to achieve this objective. And I'm, I'm a guy that uh, like to keep it the things simple. I think uh, uh, as a product manager, I have the, the ability to uh, dream big, but think small things to begin, to test. To verify and the end of the day i like a lot to analyze data and take decision based in this data so let me tell you how to improve it your second one is long wasn't very clear exactly what you meant okay so inside the pms server we teach people a framework called three by two framework which is three bullet points and each bullet point two sentences the first sentence describes specific what, in summary, what your strength is. And the second sentence have a supporting point, why it is your strength. Okay, let me rewrite your answer. Your first, uh, your first thing is customer empathy. Is that what you said? The first one, customer empathy? Yeah. Okay, so in your summary, you can say, uh, my biggest strength is I have customer empathy. Yo, now, your second sentence should describe how strong you are in terms of having customer empathy in one sentence. For example, you don't need to describe exactly how you have customer empathy is, but in your job, it's more about how how much is leading to any kind of summary of impact you had. For example, you can say, my number one strength, I have a, I have a very strong customer empathy. I am usually very good at understanding the needs and desire and pain point of customers. For example, in the past, I have launched three different kind of uh, B2C type of product or B2B type of product. I was able to create the best solution to quickly address customers' pain point that leading to $5 million uh, in revenue. So your second bullet point should be supporting your strengths, which is have customer empathy, understand the pain point that leading to what kind of impact you have. The second bullet point, the most confusing is your second one. What's your strengths for your second one? I said communication and I explain a lot of other things together. Exactly. That, that become confused. Yeah. Define communication. What do you mean by communication? Communication with stakeholders? Yeah. Uh, the capacity to, to listen and understand. Listen and understand. Okay, great. Cool. My second strength is communication skills in terms of listening and the comprehending what, what it means to other people. You need to describe communication is too broad. What do you mean by communication, right? Could be short and concise communication. Uh, your, your style of communication sounds like a listening skills. Okay, so if you want to provide a supporting evidence of you having a great communication skills, you can add one supporting evidence. For example, you can say, my second strength is my communication skills in terms of compassionate uh, listening and also taking actions regarding a very complicated uh, concept when I heard those. As a product manager, we frequently work on very complicated uh, technical issues, but we need to communicate it very simply uh, to our stakeholders. They include customers and also internal stakeholders. In the past couple of years, I was able to like translate very complicated 
topics such as cloud, edge computing, to people who actually has no background in technology as well. This makes me the most favored product manager within our team from both uh, product managers and also engineering team. So the way you talk about it is more about I'm very good at communication. So what is people love me, customers love me and engineers love me. And I was able to talk about very complex product topics such as edge computing or cloud or AI whatever you plug in that's a proof that you are very good at communication okay so now let's work on the third one what's your third one again your third one is extremely short your second one is really long your third one is really short your first one is yeah. actually medium now which i like it better what's your third one yeah. I, I said goal oriented oh you're very goal oriented very good okay so we'll change it to result driven mm, result, result driven think... is a better way to talk about goal oriented it's the same meaning Okay, so do you have evidence saying that you are very result driven? Yeah, I have some cases or some examples. Uh, in true all of my experience, I deliver important results. Plug in some numbers. What kind yeah, of important uh, results? Uh, I create a new product for B2B in one B2B company and could grow 100% by year with my product. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay, you can just say, my third strength is I'm very result driven. And as a product manager, not only we should create the amazing product, we also need to make sure that our customers love our product. I was able to groove a B, uh, like B2B da, 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 da type of product and with so much money, whatever uh, our customers use was in one year. So it was very good. So everything you put there is, is proven. Oh, that's result driven because he made so much money or have so many customers within a year. Very good. Very good. You're, you're a fast learner. I told, I told you the framework, you need to learn it. That sounds way better. Okay. So now let's work on your weakness. Quick reminder, everyone should only have one weakness in the interview, even if I have three. Okay, you talk about one weakness. So what's your weakness? Uh, I think my weakness is uh, organization. What's mean organization? I think it's to me, it's easier to begin and create new tasks and focus on to deliver results. But sometimes I'm not uh, invest the necessary time to organize all the information that I have about my tasks and my challenges. Are you saying that you're not very good at organizing all your tasks and your challenges? Uh, that's your organization skills, okay? So that's an okay answer, but the best answer is how you conquer those challenges. Turn your weakness into strengths, or at least how you solve this problem as someone who's not organized. I have someone, I just had one-on-one -on -one meeting with someone in my team, he's disorganized. He's very, very disorganized, very distracted by stuff around him because all the operational tasks make him very disorganized. Okay, so tell me, knowing that you're disorganized, how would you solve this weakness? Yeah, uh, because of that, I like to use uh, PM tools uh, as a sun, a gira, and try to put all the information that I use there as a, a, a hub that help me to maintain all the things organized. You use what kind of tools again? Uh, Asana, Jira. This. Asana, Jira. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what the impact? You use those tools. How much better are you right now? So much better because I have all the information that I need in the same place or the link is in the same place. So today it's easy to find and get all the information that I need to wear in you. Uh, you need to show a contrast before and after. Mm -hmm. You can say something. I, I put in the framework for you. Okay. You can say after you use Asana, Jira, I was able to quickly pull information and in uh, like and, and get use of those information to really focus on the main important task. For example, in the past, probably take me five hours uh, da, 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 whatever to really get all the information organized now by implementing all the tools uh, it only takes me like 30 seconds to even write a product requirement documentation whatever like something like that okay so can you give me a specific example to show the contrast before to the sense sometimes i i needed uh, important information about results for example and i needed to open two two three four documents to find information that I need. And nowadays I have just the same information in five seconds because I had all the things mapped and organized by Asana. So now let, let me, it's very good. Let me, let me write a little bit better than you, but you're a fast learner, okay? So you can say, one of my biggest, biggest weakness is I'm disorganized. I, 
sometimes as a product manager, we have so much documentation, information from engineering team and customers, stakeholders. At the beginning of my career, I find myself extremely disorganized and overwhelmed and stressed out. But I laser focus on how can I improve my uh, weakness by leveraging different kind of tools. For example, um, in the past couple of years, I have tried to implement Jira and Asana uh, through those tools. I was able to access different kind of information and organize them uh, in, a, in a, a timely fashion. And for example, uh, before I use those tools, I only I, I, I need to get information from five different places. Uh, now I'm able to achieve all the same up among the information outcome within two seconds. Now this began, this make me a very productive product manager and that leading me to become one of the best performer in the company after I fix this weakness. Awesome. So that's how you turn weakness into a strength. And this is a very authentic weakness. You're not making like this is my strength, like we turn into a strength, but at the beginning it's very authentic. It's overwhelming, has lots of different tasks flowing around as a product manager. So this is normal, right? So now, because you use tools to improve it, so you must show the growth curve. Once you show the growth curve, we're going to, oh, I have five different, I need to pull information from five different sources. Now again, all of them was in like two seconds. And now this makes me a much more productive product manager, leading to whatever people love me, uh, people promote me, every, every these things you want to say. Do you know how to answer what's your strengths and weakness right now? Feel free to submit your questions in the comments. I'm going to review your answers for free as well. The next must ask interview questions is, why do you want to become a product manager in any product management interviews? So therefore, watch my sample answers right here, where I give you very comprehensive breakdown regarding step-by-step -step answers, why you can become a PM, what kind of answers is bad, what kind of answers is good, so that you're able to quickly nail this job offer as well. And this is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMAccelerator.io. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to see you in my next video right here.